a very good evening class 12th hope you are doing well and keeping healthy and safe uh, this particular video is only to pep you up for the video uh, for the viva that you have in your practicals in case you are struggling for the viva i'll have an advice for you uh, for the salt analysis the channel already has two videos on salt analysis what are the possible questions and the answers of course for titration also there is a video on the viva of the redox titrations for your core base practicals for functional groups you will have to do it from the theory test for aldehydes ketones amines phenols all that you have in your theory so the teacher expects that you would know that for food test you should be doing the chapter of biomolecules really thoroughly because if you do not answer the viva the teacher would already know that your theory is not good for chromatography i would advise that you go through the a theory section of your lab manual where it gives you the detail about the um, the concept behind chromatography that is differential adsorption that part you should know really well the rf value of course beyond that you have uh, the double salt preparation for that you can go through the chapter of coordination compounds now normally the viva when it is happening you do get you do tend to get scared so try to listen to the question carefully because the first word of the question is important whether the examiner is asking you what is to be added when is it to be added why is it to be added please listen to the first word carefully take your time and answer please do not give vague answers if you do not know a particular answer please do not act smart give give it up that i do not know the answer it's okay you're not supposed to know everything once in a while if you do not know the answer that's fine don't get tensed up about it i would be Uh, posting all the links of all the viva videos in the description box you can check that up also i would advise that since you are working on your theory at least do one chapter of your physical chemistry one from your organic four chapters and one from your inorganic either do dnf or do coordination so that in case the examiner wants to check how good are you in theory she can easily judge you on the basis of the portion that you say that you are comfortable with so apart from that please go through your project you should have your aim and your result on your tips because otherwise uh, it clearly shows that you've not done the project don't take the project file non seriously you should know the procedure briefly how to uh, tell the procedure in one minute the aim should be crisp and your result should also be crisp and the need of doing the practice the project should be clear in your mind that is what have you gained after doing this particular project so you can keep checking the description box for all the viva content that i have posted rest i hope you all would be doing very well i would be posting the next video on how to handle chemistry for your cbse upcoming board examination all the best do well stay connected bye